Hi there. In this video, we will see how we can do model validations inside an ASP.NET Core Razor Pages application. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this one in future. I have created a new ASP.NET Razor Pages application and I'm using .NET 6 over here. And as you can see, I am in the index uh, code behind class and I also have the index razor page, which is empty. I have created a models folder in which I have a home view model and I will create around a couple of properties. So let's say I create a of the first property, which is PROP and it's of type string. And let's say the property is called name and I will have another one called email. And finally, I will have another one of type integer, let's say salary. And I will sh display them in the razor page over here inside a form. And when it's given to the user, user might uh, submit the details of this user uh, with the name, email and salary as shown over here. And we have to just validate in the code behind class in the on post method to see if the values coming back to the code behind class is correct or not. So we will use model validations for that. So first of all, I will display the values inside the index razor page. So for that, I want to create a form and the form is of method is equal to post. I will get rid of the action attribute and inside the form, I want to create the elements. So I want to create a div first with a class of margin bottom of three. This is a bootstrap class inside this. I will have a label and that will have a class of form hyphen label. The label will say name because that's the first field in the form and the input element for this will be of type text and I'll replace the name and value uh, property and instead I will use this from the home view model which we can submit or pass from the index model over here. So I can create a property of type home view model and this will come from the models folder and I will call this home view model and I can also bind the property and this will come from the MVC uh, package and I'm using the bind property attribute on this property so that when the user submits this form, the values will come back uh, into when the form is submitted into the on post method. So I will have I can now say this is the ASP hyphen for attribute and this is for uh, the home view model dot name property. And I will also have a class of form hyphen control, which is a bootstrap class just to make things a little prettier. And I will copy this element, paste it one more time. And this time it will be for the email. So this will be of type email and for the email property and one more for the salary. So the label would say salary, the type would be number and this will be for the salary property. The final div would be for the button. So class margin bottom hyphen three and I'll say button. This will be of type is equal to uh, submit classes of btn space btn hyphen primary um, and the text of this button would say submit. So we have the form ready. It's now time to see if the form is working or not and we'll also create the on post method. So public void on post. So when the form is submitted, it comes over here. So I will put a breakpoint so that we can see the home view model is coming with the updated values or not. So now it's time to test this application. I'll run the application. I am inside the index page and I can see the three properties that we were displaying in the form. So let's quickly fill this form with, let's say my details and a huge salary. Let's say submit this form. And if I hover over the home view model, it comes back with all the details of the form. So that's coming nicely into the on post method. And let's also say if the user did not submit one or many of these fields in the form and they submit the form, 
it comes back to the on post method but this time we have the email name and salary as null or zero which is undesirable because we want to do something with this data we may want to you know create a new record in the table in the database so that's not desirable so we should have model validations for this form and we'll do that in just a second I can stop the application now and we do model validations using the model state uh, the model state object that we have on the page model so in the on post method we can say if model state and that's an object exposed to us dot is valid which is a property of the model state object and we will see if the model state is valid which is this model over here if it's valid then do something maybe you know create a new record in the table in a database and if it's not valid then do something else maybe show errors or something like that and then we you know give the execution back to the razor page so if i run the application and keep this form empty and then submit this form if I hover over the is valid property, you can see that the is valid property is coming as false. That means the model state is not valid. That means you shouldn't do anything with this data. You should show errors to the user that they have to correct this form. So I will let it through. And another example of this is I will fill this form with correct data. And if I submit this form now, you can see the is valid property on the model state is now coming as true which is valid so it should go ahead and you know insert this data in the database and this is how model state uh, works behind the scene using this we can display the errors on the form and inside each control so that we notify the user to correct this form so let's say we want to display the validation messages for the name property or the name element we will create a span inside here inside this div for the name and this span would have a class of text hyphen danger which is a red colored text and we will have the ASP hyphen validation hyphen for attribute and we will say this validation message is for the home view model dot name which is the same property as we have for the input element above we will do the same thing for email and we will change the ASP hyphen validation hyphen for attribute to email and finally we will have it for the salary as well and similarly I will change it to salary so this way we can display the validation messages for all these elements because the page is then coming back from the on post method and the model state is telling the razor page again that these fields are not valid show the user the messages so I will hot reload my application and come back and refresh this page and let's say I keep all of these empty because now you know that this is not a valid state I will submit this form comes back over here I'll just let it go and as you can see here it's coming back with uh, errors or validation messages for the elements and it's saying the name field is required the email field is required and the value of empty is invalid so you can see how easy it was to display the validation messages for these input elements back to the user. Another nice little touch you can give over here is to add custom validations as well. So let's say inside the on post method, we want the salary to be greater than zero. So let's say we say if home view model dot salary is less than zero or let's say less than one then we want to add a custom validation message so we will say model state dot add model error and we first define the key and the key for the error is the salary field so we will say the key is salary and the message as a string is the salary cannot be less than 
one or less than yeah less than one and using that you are adding a custom validation message and then checking if the model state is still valid or not and if it's not valid you should you know display this message back inside the razor form so i will hot reload my application again just to test it out and we'll come back refresh the page i will let's say fill the form for name and email but let's say i give the salary as zero if i submit this it comes over here checks if the salary is less than one which it is because it's zero it adds the model validation error and now the is valid property is set to false and if i continue this it hasn't displayed anything because i think i have got the key wrong it should be the home view model dot salary so let's say i use the name of property and say home view model dot salary and probably this is a better way to define the key rather than just hard coding it and i will hot reload the application again and if i come back load the application fill in the same values as the previous example submit the form comes back to the debugging point i'll just let it go because it's not valid it adds the error and i'll let it go from here and we can see it comes back with the validation message of salary cannot be less than one uh, i had to make one change that i had to explicitly define it as a dot salary uh, i don't know why the key from the uh, the home view model dot salary was not working so i will have defined it like this and you can see what the key is by right clicking on the element if you go to inspect and inspect on this element you can see the span saying uh, it's for the home view model dot salary so this key has to match your custom validation message and when it does it will show the custom validation message over here so this was the model validations uh, in razor pages and i hope you like this video if you did please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you uh, see more content like this one in future i hope you have a wonderful day See you all in the next one.